Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is at the Jurassic Coast of Dorset and Devon in southern England. So we're here today at the Jurassic Coast of southern England and it's called that because the rock formations and cliffs and all that sort of stuff is just ancient. They're from the Triassic, the Jurassic and the Cretaceous period and it's just spectacular to see. And apparently this whole area is one of the best in the world for finding fossils so we might see what we can dig up. One of the coolest things about the Jurassic Coast here is that it's really renowned for discoveries of fossils and dinosaur footprints and of course dinosaur bones like this gigantic plesiosaur that's just behind me. This is Lulworth Cove and it's one of the most beautiful and spectacular parts of the entire Jurassic Coast. As you look at the rocks behind me from right to left, you travel through time 150 million years ago to 65 million years ago. Right over here at the right hand edge at the mouth of the cove, 150 million year old stone. And next to it, you can see the angled rocks where uh, continental drift buckled them and pushed them under the sea. That's 100 million years old. Next to that again, you can see red sandstone 80 million years old and finally on the far left you can see chalk, fossilized sea creatures 65 million years old. Isn't it incredible? You thought they were just rocks. All along the coastline here you can see great examples of the power of the sea. Small cracks widen after getting pounded by waves and become large caves. Eventually they get worn through and become archways which collapse into stone stacks. Behind me is the beautiful Dirtle Door and it's such a great reminder of in the terms of millions of years even the rocks that we think of as completely unchanging come and go, they rise and they fall. This is Monmouth Beach near Lyme Regis and we're getting closer to the western end of the Jurassic Coast. As we move further westward the rocks get older. These rocks up here are from the early Jurassic and you can just really see the strata, the layers in the rock and it's here that so many fossils and dinosaur bones have been found. So let's see what we can find. These are ammonites, fossilized shellfish from around 150 million years ago. This is Orkham Point and the red cliffs that you can see behind me mark the end of the Jurassic Coast. They're the oldest part here, 300 million years old. But that's the end of our journey. Thank you very much for coming with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road, and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.